it's crimes. Mm. These are crimes. Yep. They have made it a political issue. Right. That is your job to advise. Mm. Too simple, but it has been manipulated made to the very th- end. Hello everyone, welcome back to Beyond the Headlines, where this time around we bring you an exclusive interview with two lovely Kelantanese ladies, uh, mother and daughter duo, Nick Ellen Zrina Nick Abdul Rashid and Tengku Yasmin Nastasha Tengku Abdul Rahman, who have just been all over the news basically okay. for a groundbreaking federal court ruling that have found 16 provisions out of 18 uh, provisions under the Kelantan Sharia criminal enactment um, con- unconstitutional. So thank you so much, Nick Ellen and for Yasmin, for coming husband. over on such short notice. Because the, the, the ruling was just uh, delivered yesterday, and, and you here you are. And yeah. only just now. <laughs> a few Making hours ago. Few hours thank you. Ago. We just, I thank just you reached out to you a couple of hours ago. Very fresh in my memory. Um, <laughs> and uh, here you are, making your first appearance, media appearance, following yes. uh, the, uh, the, the, the ruling yesterday. Um, so now, we're here to obviously touch on this ruling that was delivered by the top court, the, the federal court, the decision. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, you know, this has uh, spurred a lot of um, discussion, heated discussions, debates over it. And we've seen it over just you know, overnight, right? Yeah. Uh, some of them uh, were, you know, received the news well, some of them not so. And we saw, you know, protests in Putrajaya and statements being uh, put out there yes. by certain quarters. Now, let me just start off first. This isn't quite the first sort of um, chal- uh, constitutional challenge no. of Sharia laws, no. right? So, mm. there can you there have been many ca- constitutional challenges before, mm-hmm. uh, but the one most similar to to our case case is the challenge by Dato Zaid Ibrahim, mm-hmm. who initiated uh, who applied for leave uh, to challenge the Kelantan State Government. Um, with regard to the hudud laws, so it's not s- mm-hmm. it's not something That's abnormal. True. Yeah, it's not mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. It's very. It's been done. It's been done before. Yeah. So legal proceedings like what you started um, has been uh, has been we've seen it before. It has been mm-hmm. done, but uh, a decision on challenging provisions, criminal provisions under Sharia law in Kelantan, this is the first of its kind, right? Well, it's a landmark this decision. This yes. landmark. judgment. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So now let me. I can. The spotlight is obviously on the both of you, um, and you brought up, you know, the first challenge that was uh, done uh, by Datu Zaid Ibrahim. Yes. 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 Yeah, the, the previous one. Mm-hmm. So this one being the first of its kind. Um, now, the both of you initiated uh, your challenge, your legal proceedings, about two years ago, right? Back in 2020. 2020. 2020. Mm-hmm. And I suppose. Because you are a lawyer, okay. so both of you come from a legal background. But I suppose yes. you don't, you're not affiliated with any political parties. Mm. parties. Um, we can discuss about that because, yes, I am affiliated to, I'm not a politician, but I just join whichever political parties that, that seem okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I am a member of AMNO, many, many. Semangat <laughs> Papua Right. Yes. But you come, you come with this challenge uh, as basically just a member of the public, right? Oh yeah. yes. We're but not backed by anyone. Mm-hmm. We but are not supported nor uh, by anyone. It's just the two of us and our lawyers. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so, with your legal uh, knowledge and your training, yes. I understand that Yasmin has just been called to the bar. Yes. Right? So yes. congratulations Last to you on that. Friday, so two <laughs> historical two Fridays, two historical Fridays, Fridays, Fridays for her. It's pretty uh, 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 two milestones for you to celebrate, I guess. Within uh, a week, yeah, for a family <laughs> a family celebration. So I suppose you know you n- knew what the outcome was going to be. Like you were likely um, mm-hmm. be able to challenge, and it will come through, right? Uh, can you just go through the um, the thought process in initiating the legal proceedings and you sitting down with your daughter uh, Nick Ellen and, mm-hmm. and, and Yasmin please you know feel free to uh, uh, so jump in and what happened was that you know it's not it's it was nothing I mean, big it mm-hmm. was super simple she just sent me what sent me the enactment Janaya Sharia mm-hmm. Kelantan that was passed in 2019 and uh, you sent it to me in 2020 one yeah in 2021 and she asked me look at it so i s- so i read it and i was like 
salah ni mami you know this one is under uh, ada yang ada yeah. under mm. ada yang dah ada in pe- under the penal code you know th- mm. there there's there's an overlap yes it's overreached right. mm-hmm. So, so she decided it was unconstitutional, and <coughs> she said, "Can we challenge this? You know?" Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I said, "Yeah, why not?" <laughs> you Ta- know. But I, at that time, I didn't think that it was going to be this big because yeah. I thought, you know, it's just a normal. It's legal. It's nothing to do with. Just because it's shana- uh, Sharia doesn't mm-hmm. mean. It's about Islam, Tade, because like it's crimes. Mm. These are crimes. Yep. I'm not, we're not saying that these are not crimes, and people are able to do uh, these uh, things. But yeah, it has been blown out out of proportion. So, mm. so how soon did the uh, decision to okay, let's start the legal proceeding? No, uh, come it was after sometime that. in December 2021, and. So we we discussed it and we thought about it and then I think Took in a few about months if, yeah about April or something like that we spoke to our lawyers yeah. our lawyer Surendra mm-hmm. and Surendra Anand right. and we discussed it and uh, we we said we have to do something you know so Surendra said okay let's let's initiate the challenge mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. so. And here we are. <laughs> yeah, two but years, two years we, later. We yeah. expected. We were challenging the Kelantan State Government. These are politicians, so of course there will be. We expected there to be a backlash, but mm. not mm-hmm. not this using kind. fabrications religion. and um, not religion. Uh, Never. It was not about religion. Not it was at more all. about. Um, we were challenging. Kuasa untuk mengubah yes, undang-undang. Their competency, their competency, right. whether they were competent mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. to uh, enact such enact laws, such laws, yeah, that was it. Mm. So we did not expect the facts to be manipulated for them to right. say that we're going yeah. against Islam, you know. Uh, but Islam. we kept it very quiet. Okay. We kept it very quiet, and then on the twenty fifth of May, twenty twenty two, yeah, we uh, we applied for leave. And we got leave on the 30th September. of September, 2022, mm, okay. mm-hmm. and we petition. We filed our petition on the 13th of October, 2022. Right. We only told the others after we had got our leave, after we had filed our petition. We right. did not tell anyone. We did not, not tell anyone. So it was only public after the petition yes. was filed. Yes. Yeah. Right. So there was only like one news article mm, by the Malay Mail. By yeah. the Malay Mail about. Uh, us getting a leave mm. and that was it right and then but this thing came up blew out of proportion last year mm. because um, a fellow uh, learned <laughs> friend of hers <laughs> posted uh, on his Facebook and then he had a big following it right. blew out of proportion he said that we're Islam Tarancham and all that you know blowing everything so out of proportion a, a friend but rather oh, we're brother lawyers Okay. Mm. Okay, I get it now. So okay, so the but it wasn't just one. I think it blew up prop- of proportion because from his postings. Yes, from his postings. Right, postings. right. So that's where that's the starting point then. Yeah. Mm. So on on still backlash and so that the backlash was it goes all the way back then. And that was two mm. years ago, right? And now obviously the 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 decision has been delivered. Okay. <laughs> Sixteen provisions found unconstitutional. Uh, we've seen the protests yesterday, right? The verdict does not sit well with certain people, religious quarters. Um, in Putrajaya, there was a protest. Um, Pass called it a Black Friday. Jumaat yang hitam, they called it, right? Um, opposition leader Hamza Zainuddin has also responded by saying that he will seek an audience with His Maj- Majesty, the King of Malaysia, Sultan Ibrahim, and with the Sultan of Selangor to, to discuss this decision. Right, um, and I quote um, Datu uh, Datu Sri Hamza Zainuddin saying that the decision of Nick Ellen Zrinandi Abdul Rashid's petition, which does not favour the Kelantan State Legislative Body, has touched on the sentiments of the entire Muslim community. This is especially since Article Three of the Federal Constitution establishes Islam as the religion of the Federation. And end of quote. Now, surely. You're going to expect more you backlash out of this, right? You see how it's been twisted and manipulated mm-hmm. from a competency challenge 
to, to Islam. Uh, Islam. Mm. Is it never challenged. was about Islam. And this know? has been reiterated by uh, uh, Chief Justice uh, Tunku Tun Maimun. Actually, has got nothing to she do with the doctrine of Islam. She has said many times that this has nothing to do with the doctrine of Islam. Even mm -hmm. when she delivered the judgment yesterday. Uh, she said that this has nothing to do with uh, Islam, and she even went on to uh, explain explain what, what is, is hudud, mm. what is kisas, takzir, yeah. and the laws that we are challenging mm. are takzirs. Mm -hmm. well, it's not a was law, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. And I've been stating that right from the start. It's we're not challenging name. Allah. We're not challenging the Sultan. We're not challenging Islam. Islam. We're not challenging, you know, Shari. You can you can sugarcoat. Uh, a law, you know, a normal law, and sugarcoat it with religion. It's right. and it becomes, you know, mm -hmm. it's not. It's it's nothing to do. It it's just, just sounds like everything's so uh, convoluted. Everything's just yes, a mix convoluted, of yes. yeah. different uh, accusations thrown yeah. into the mix, right? Um, we so have to make it very clear. It mm -hmm. had nothing to do with Islam. With Islam, right? Mm -hmm. For me, actually, because I did Sharia law. Well, yeah. she did. We both, uh, both, we both have us. Sharia uh, yes. Yes. training. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, for me, I actually like hudud laws. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And but, f if you ask me, can we implement hudud laws in Malaysia? We don't have the infrastructure we, we yet. We can't. Yeah. We uh, we're yeah. unable to, because the, um, what do you call the penyaksian is so high that you you're unable to. Um, Implement it. Implement it. We don't so have in, the infrastructure. So in theory, you, the, you, there is, you can, you can carry out, but it's just we don't have the infrastructure. Infra yes. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Um, so yeah, uh, you already touched on uh, what the Chief Justice said, and obviously, you know, that's, it's good to hear. I th I th to me, that um, make, makes it uh, seem like this is a moving forwards, it's paving the way forwards. That, that there is room to challenge um, such Sharia laws, right? And in uh, in the way that not even Sharia laws. It's not any Sharia law. You just as I said, you sugarcoat it with the Sharia and Arabic name. It becomes Sharia, Sharia. and that's why mm. it becomes yeah. controversial. Mm. When but it's not. You can, it uh, even if there is a federal law that oversteps that is actually bidang under the bidang kuasa of, of the, the state, state mm. you mm. can challenge yes, that. Sure. Yeah. So yes. it's not just just because you put it under uh, sh Sharia uh, in front of it becomes Islam. No, it's not. Right. Um, now to address more on the other end of uh, the argument, we, you've also had. Uh, no, I mean, apart from the public backlash that you've received, uh, the Chief Judge of Sabah and Sarawak, Tan Sri Abdul Rahman Sebli, he's described the both of you <laughs> um, and your legal bid to challenge the provisions, the Kelantan Sharia law provision. Um, He's described both of you as busy bodies, and I believe he also adds uh, the uh, uh, another label to you mischief to that, makers, mischief which, is, makers, which is mischief makers ghost and ghost phantom. phantoms, ghost phantoms or hantu. hantu. Right? hantu. He, he said this in court. In court. Yes. So how would you? The reason why he said this was because his argument was that the, the both of you have uh, no local standi in the matter. Yeah. So how would you address that? Oh well, eight eight doesn't seem to agree with him. Eight young Ahmad Arif, Arif, young Ahmad Arif, young Arif, young right. Arif, do not agree with Tan, uh, young Arif Tan Sri. So, um, well, I to us there is a. I think um, well young Ahmad Arif has already written about, uh, has already countered the argument about locus standi. We mm -hmm. already obtained leave before we started the action. We have to apply for leave first. Right. All right, and we got the leave already. All right. So to us, we we already have the locus. Now, to me, to me, my personal stand is that uh, everybody has a right when the federal constitution has been subverted. So we are not busy bodies, and especially us, we are pengamal undang-undang. We are the officers of the court. It is our duty. It is our duty to defend and protect the supremacy of the federal constitution. Mm -hmm. So that is that is what we say. Of course... Um, May I add that yes. as Malaysians, you have our Rukun Negara, mm. Kedaulatan uh, Undang-Undang, Keluruhan Perlembagaan. Mm -hmm. There mm -hmm. you go, Keluruhan mm -hmm. Perlembagaan. You have to protect the supremacy of the constitution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is for all of us to... As Malaysians. Yeah. But there there's only one part of uh, 
the dissenting decision that I agree. Uh, Yang Ahmad Arif has already stated that it should be the federal government that initiates this action. Challenge, yeah. yeah okay. That initiates this action, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not us. So, yes, I agree. But the, the federal government did not do it, did not challenge right. the state okay. for this law. So we did. So you, you felt it was incumbent upon you as to carry as, out, uh, as officers as of the as duties, yeah, yes. it's our duty yeah. to follow as a Rukun person Negara, who yeah. read law, who mm. mm. taught mm -hmm. constitution for a year, <laughs> which right. I quite liked it. <laughs> right. No, not Where did you read law? ITM. By the way? We're both ITM. You're UITM. both ITM. UITM graduates. She's mm -hmm. from ITM. I'm from UITM. <laughs> right. The <laughs> yes. Much further. <laughs> many I more years later. I graduated in 1985. <laughs> so yes. Mm. Right. That's great. Um, now. On still on the uh, your your constitutional constitutional challenge of the 18 provisions. So, based on the ruling, 16 were declared unconstitutional. Mm. Why do you think the other two remain status quo? As oh. as far as you can explain. Well, now. Um, I haven't fully read the grounds of judgment mm -hmm. yet. Same. Yes. <laughs> so it I, I it's more of when you compare because what we did was we put a. Uh, uh, table. table. We put it on the table and we compared the two uh, the state law and the uh, the state law, law and the federal laws. Right. So they the the panel actually did dissect each and every one of the eighteen provisions sections and found that two are constitutional. Right. Mm. Okay. So uh, I think they did a very good dissection of the mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. In, in sense, in the sense of, of sovereignty, how do you see your case um, defending the sovereignty of the nation of the country? How does that fit into the whole, uh, yeah, your challenge here in defending the constitution? The supremacy, the the federal constitution is the supreme law of the land, right? And that's the rule of law. Mm -hmm. Any law that's in consistent, inconsistent with. The federal, federal, constitution federal constitution is it's void. Right. It could be declared void. It's unconstitutional. It's, it's ultra virus. Mm. Yeah. It's pretty not too uh, deep. Uh, it's pretty clear. It's a, a clear cut case where yeah. mm -hmm. you find something. It's a very simple, clear simple. cut case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too simple, but it has been manipulated Manipul to the very end. I think they're, they're desperate. Mm -hmm. They already got very desperate with it. They know, they knew right from the start. They knew it was unconstitutional. Right. So when they knew and someone challenged it, two women, I think their ego somehow or other got scratched right. somewhere. Is that is that do you think why <laughs> this has received so much attention? Yeah, I think so because we're the not fact that you're both women. Tudo. Oh yes. <laughs> Big <laughs> issue. Women. Kita tak tak pakai tudo. Tudo. You know? You know. Okay. Mm. Big issue. And would it have anything to do that the both of you are from Kelantan and you know how we know how the yeah. you know, Klan Kelantan government is and mm -hmm. who runs the state there? Does that also play into the whole uh, controversy? You know, like yeah. oh, like I mean, pass, like because it's under pass ruling. That also because you're both uh, you're both she associated with the state. With she lives in she uh, her address is in Kelantan, is in Kota Baru. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, she's a Kelantanese. Mm -hmm. I'm a Clantonese. Right. I was born in Klantan, uh -huh. born, bred, right. and and in my older age, matured age, I she plans to I retire, yes. in and I want to retire in Klantan. Right, you're so both proud of your Klantan. Oh yes, yes. very, very, very proud. heritage and um, absolutely. Yeah. My Malay is not that great. Yeah, my Klantan, uh, apa kecak Klata is hundred yeah. fluent in Klantan. She goes to <laughs> she goes to when she was in school. Right. I had to tell the teacher, I'm so sorry, my daughter doesn't ha know how to speak Bahasa Malaysia. But they catch a klate so more. You know, at home, kita catch a klate. So it's English and Klantan. Yeah, la. Klantan. 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 Only Klantan. when I go to like school, or now I'm working, I speak Bahasa Melayu. Right. <laughs> and We're not point. very fluent in Bahasa Malaysia. <laughs> okay. We're better in Klantanese language. Right. Mm. So perhaps, you know, because you are very. Uh, you have such a great affinity for your home state, right? Yes. Do you? Could it be that some people, you know, perhaps even people in your own circle, um, they might see this as an act of, you know, like a backstabbing or uh, going against, you know, the if home state. Um, they, it, it, for for the for a start, perhaps they should have before they 
started implementing laws, they should have checked whether the laws uh, are whether they were competent and whether the laws were uh, ultra virus or not. Mm. You know, so mm -hmm. don't mm -hmm. blame us. It would we would not have started it had they, you know, did their job. Did their job right. well. Yeah, had they checked, you know. So and I'm not sure if you can air this out. Uh, yeah, maybe you can yeah, cut we'll it out. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. Um, cause I was reading, um, like there was this Twitter account that was putting the blame on the Sultan. Mm. Oh, this is uh, Sultan uh, Salah Sultan lah. Melapa, um, kenapa uh, dia yang tak uh, bagi the um, why he didn't uh, stop do put yeah. do something to put us yeah. to intervene yeah. on this. Mm -hmm. But why are you blaming the Sultan? Yeah. You are the state legislative assembly. You have the state legal right. advisor. Why? That is your job to advise. State legal advisors are supposed to advise. Yes, mm. state legal advisor. They mm. should have been advised by the state legal advisor. And the state legal advisor is from the AGC, the Attorney General's Chambers. They've right. just been seconded as <laughs> state legal advisors. So right. he should have, I mean, okay, he should have stepped in and advised them. Mm -hmm. But I'm not don't sure blame the Sultan. Because mm -hmm. it's wrong for you to put the blame. These politicians are trying, you know, they're shifting the blames to us, to this, to anyone they can, to the other side, to who, uh, whoever, because they want to pass tangan. I don't think that's correct. If you do a mistake, admit it. Admit it. And correct it. And correct it. Sekarang, you know, nak pindah pelembagaan. Why do you want to pindah pelembagaan? If there is not something. You, if you didn't do something wrong, wrong, more in your like pers not personal lives, to to you know to a, a larger extent. But uh, you've made your Facebook private, right? Uh, today, <laughs> yeah. But I can I ask you about your following? Yeah, up sure. to today. Okay, mm. right. So you have quite a following on Facebook. Um, the I've followers are not necessarily my fans. Okay, mm. they're enemies. So it's a mix of uh, people. Oh yes, with people who, who are trying. To oh yes, you. so. You got, uh, is it a, a fair mix of, of haters and I have no friends? idea, but <laughs> I'm, I'm just very careful because followers, you can't stop them. And uh -huh. so I just, um, um, I don't, there's like every few weeks, thousands, 1,000 uh, uh, people who want to be my Facebook friend because I made my Facebook uh, such that only friends can comment on my Facebook. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if they're not um, friends, they cannot be a busybody in... Oh, I love the term busybody. I'm so proud to be a busybody. <laughs> so busybodies are not... Uh, and they're not able to comment and on engage my with So you. they want to come in and kuto, you know. So so I, I, I've stopped looking at the people who have been trying to be my Facebook friend. Right. I, I I don't know how many But you've got quite a following. You've got like ten thousand followers the last I yes, checked. Yes, yes. Yes. So that must be quite a, a big part of your day to day. So I see <laughs> your posts regularly mm -hmm. and you do get a lot of engagement. Mm -hmm. Um sometimes do you think just, that this sometimes I just put in nonsense. Can you know can <laughs> <laughs> well, don't we all? Mm. <laughs> don't no, we I all. put sarcas sarcasm. I put in a lot of sarcasm. Right. Mm. So um now until recently you've changed your um, public uh, status on Facebook to private now, perhaps you know. I think Friends only. Yes, for mm. obvious reasons. But mm. um, in your in your you know the extended time that you've been on Facebook uh, mm -hmm. public, and you know with ten thousand followers, do you think that your public presence there has influenced uh, or shaped the course of the action that you've taken, this legal route that you've taken to challenge the yeah constitutional challenge that you made? Um, I'm not sure because. To me, I, I it doesn't bother me. I'm not an attention seeker, you know. Mm, okay. <laughs> Although, yeah, I get so many people saying that I am, you know. Well, that's are these from your followers, friends? Do you get comments? Oh, I like know. That? These are on. These are what I read from other people's Facebook. You mm. know, um, sometimes they I get uh, tagged, and then they say, "Oh, she's just an attention seeker. That's why she's okay. doing this." So Instagram is completely private. I mean, just friends only. So they've been trying to knock on my door, right, <laughs> to come in as well and see all my private postings. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but 
Facebook is Facebook, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it's just. That's true. But my life is an open Facebook. <laughs> okay. Now that you've you've made your uh, Facebook account private, so people not as many people can reach out mm. to you except for friends you already know. Do you think that moving forwards you're going to m- be more careful about uh, the people you let in, and are you gonna there keep this private? There's. Um, it depends. There's so just private? too many threats on my life. Right. Too many online. Uh, online attacks and like not not uh bully sembele you know things halal halal darah you receive oh many 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 many. i've made three police reports already there's much more dah tak larat nak count the how many people keep you know but Uh that that's because they do not understand because they have been misled Mm. by their political masters Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. if they really understand Right. If they were I to think, read, yeah. If they were really to read ikra ikra ikra, if they're really pure, pure really Muslims, they would read. Mm-hmm. If they were to read, they will understand. But they don't want to read. All they want to do is just follow blindly what their political masters are telling them. All right. So perhaps if they use their intellect or akal, they may be able to see what where we're coming from. Are mm. you at all concerned about this? For your own safety yes, and plus yeah. your, your yes, daughter's family. Yeah, yes, and, uh, because they can get pretty desperate, these politicians and followers, you know. Mm-hmm. Especially if it's been clothed with Islam. Right. You know, yeah. Whereas Islam to us is about love, is about mercy, is about... Um, Islam is peace. Yeah, peace, you know. That's so the definition of Islam. Yes, right? yeah. peace. So, yet, <laughs> we yeah. get a total... It's an opposite of what they're showing right now. Mm. Oh, sikit-sikit bunuh, bunuh, bunuh. Mm. Well, and, and Islam is not about punishment. Right. Inside the Quran, uh, it's more about mercy and love right. and peace and, and getting along with everybody, know each other, you know, and then to, 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 um, to do justice. That's the main one. As I keep telling everybody, the reason why I, I filed this suit also, we filed this challenge also, is because of Surah An-Nisa 135, mm-hmm. you know, uh, which says, O ye who, who, oh you who believe, stand firmly for justice, even if it's against your parents, your, yourself, your kin, uh, even if they're rich or they're poor, you know. But the most important thing is justice. So this is justice. We're seeking justice. All mm-hmm. right. Now, if I can, if I may, um, I just want to go back to the 18 provisions that you challenged. Mm-hmm. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so why specifically these 18 provisions? Why, why, why did you go about this way? Actually, we wanted to challenge more, wasn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. we wanted mm-hmm. to challenge much, much more. But then when we uh, <coughs> thought <coughs> Surendra's, yeah. We looked at it again. Yeah, and then we said, okay, this one is the one where we can go directly to the federal court. Um, okay. The others, we have to go to the high court and then let's right. just So this had a, a more straightforward route. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, otherwise it would do be more that we would do be Do you plan to pursue the others no. and go through the high court? No. <laughs> Not no. yet? No. <laughs> no immediate plans? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Only because is it, is it too difficult? It's yeah. time consuming? It's yes. All right. Okay. Um, so I suppose now, Coming back to uh, the the impact from all of this, yeah? um, I mean, this is ju- it just happened yesterday, right? Yeah. Uh, we know that you've received backlash, and I think we're going to expect to see more coming out of this. Um, I hope not. Yeah, <laughs> let's just hope they open up their minds and brains and mm-hmm. think, you know. And if well, of course, I know they're very desperate. The politicians are very desperate. They have made it a political issue, right. whereas it's got nothing to do with politics. Mm-hmm. You know, now they've even questioned uh, why it was. They've even questioned the prime minister, yes. whereas it has got yes. nothing to do with, with, the, with prime the prime minister. minister or whichever party. No, it has not got anything to do with it. Right. Hmm. I mean, this, this is just our personal challenge uh, on behalf of the. Right at Malaysia, right. of course, many people will say, oh, not on our oh. behalf, you know. <laughs> not in mm. my name. Not in my name, right. you know, so. I guess the, the delivery of the verdict itself um, shows you that we do have separation of powers. Yes. That the judici- judiciary uh, has, has to uphold 
the federal the constitution. The federal constitution, when, the highest land of the law, uh, law right. of the land. Now, when, when the judges are appointed, okay, they have all got to do an uh, s- sumpah mm-hmm. to d- uphold and defend the federal constitution. Mm-hmm. So does the politicians. Right. When they're in parliament, mm-hmm. they're supposed to uphold and defend the federal constitution too. Mm-hmm. So... They have failed in a way. Yeah. To me, they have mm-hmm. failed. When they when they are talking about amending the federal constitution, how are you? Up they haven't. It? All right. Now, still on politics and politicians. So mm-hmm. yesterday, uh, the Prime Minister Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim said that you were a member of Muafakat National. <laughs> So to what extent is this true? How does this reflect your okay, political side? No, I know no, you, no, no. in the beginning you did mention, you know, you were in some ways affiliated to AMNO, right? Yes. But that was some... No, Muafakat National. Okay, <coughs> I have to tell the story again, retell the story again. Um, the president himself of Muafakat National invited me to be a member of Muafakat National. And I googled in the website. Mm-hmm. It shows love, uh, uh, it, it has all the good in unity, so it's mm. good for Malaysia. And so whatever is good, I just joined. It was online application anyway, and I got approved immediately. Okay. So it, it was a good uh, something good for unity, I- for for freedom, for <coughs> justice. So read the website. Even if you read the website, you'll also join. You know. <laughs> right. Mm, I don't know whether I'm still. So it's a member. matter of principle, really. You yes. Your yes, membership yes. with them. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good. It's anything that's good, I join. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't subscribe to any political parties. No? <laughs> no. How um, would you describe yourself politically? Are you completely neutral? I am whatever is good, but um, for me, I'm a royalist. I don't oh, know. Okay. That's interesting. She's too young. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. so... Okay. I, I that is good and bad in every, uh in um uh, there is Sounds not like even good and bad <laughs> there is um the evil and the <laughs> what's the other one <laughs> there's the bad and the worse and the good oh, the less lesser evil the, the lesser <laughs> evil yes yeah, yeah. of the lesser evil <coughs> now i just want to get to know more about the both of you being it was you're both mother and daughter both lawyers right so perhaps it's very it's expected out of lawyers to be naturally argumentative and in this case to challenge laws. Right? Whenever we see injustice, we speak up. We right. don't just simply for the sake of argument, you know, but right. when, when only when we, whenever we see injustice. So that's on the surface level. Mm. I mean, basically people who don't know you personally uh, will see you as that, right? You're very contentious and obviously you have but a standing as... as, as <laughs> Say again? We're not loud, right? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But do you, mm. as you said, you speak up because you s- you see there is injustice. Mm. So now, perhaps to get more personal uh, mm-hmm. with you, uh, how would how would close friends describe you? Um, as well as, can we get to know more about your relationship, uh, the both of you between mother and daughter? Um, are you always like a team? When it comes to no, uh, pursuing argue. things like this, <laughs> no, we are ar- we argue. <laughs> you argue, yeah, argue. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Is that because the both of you are lawyers, or <laughs> they're just uh, different opin- uh, views? Right. It's nothing serious. It's a banter where you know you learn. Mm-hmm. But I love all my children anyway. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, but she knows that anyway. <laughs> uh, and 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 Yasmin, you read law. Yes. You've just been called to the bar. Yes. What d- drove you to uh, pursuing law then? Her. Just, just seeing your mother. Yeah, seeing my mother <coughs> uh, as a lawyer mm-hmm. and how she was helping. Uh, she was helping a lot of people, and you know she helped people who who were. Um, you, she was. Uh, you know, she brought me to see people who apa orang susah, orang yang kena um, what else? Um, 
the underprivileged, the, the underprivileged, less the less yeah. fortunate, and then you see yeah. all this, mm-hmm. and then <coughs> you know I, and then she has her clients come in, okay, and I see I see the clients, and I feel oh you know I want to help them also, right, you right. know this kind of people. Do you do pro bono? Oh, cases? lots. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she right. does more pro bono cases <laughs> than the paid ones. <laughs> really, I get paid okay. in petai so and durians. The lessons, <laughs> lesser known side of you, yeah, right. Mm. We don't get to hear that. Oh, many people uh, have come to me for really? pro bono. Okay, yeah. all right. Mm. Where do we see yourselves? Maybe five, five years from now, five, ten years from now. In Kota Baru. <laughs> do you plan? You plan to yeah. stay there? Inshallah. There. Mm. Right. Inshallah. What about you, Yasmin? Probably, s- I want to do something to help people. I don't know what I will be doing, but I know I want to help people. Right. Okay. Perhaps you shouldn't do pro bono too. Yeah. Mm, not too much. <laughs> not too much, maybe. <laughs> but sh- uh, yeah. But help uh, the. I want to help the yeah. underprivileged, the you know less fortunate. Okay. Anyone. So for her, for her. Okay, let me just go in a little bit. When she was much younger, she we have an I have another daughter, Diana, and they're both born in August, so. Last time when we had um, birthdays, we'll have celebrations. And then they decided, no, mommy, rather than you pay for the birthday celebrations Mm -hmm. for people who already have it, let's go and see those who are underprivileged. You know, so we started going to charity homes. We started going to Chow Kit. We started going to the Rohingyans. Mm. We we went to the homeless. So, uh, you know, so... Mm -hmm. Old folks home, yeah. yeah, and then quite number. So every year they'll celebrate with the underprivileged. Mm. So I'm proud right. of it that. It I'm very proud because of, of the pandemic. Th- yes, after right. the pandemic, it sto- I mean during the pandemic, it stopped. Oh, okay. So that's how charitable <laughs> they are. Okay. Well, using my money I too, <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, what our <laughs> mothers <laughs> for anyway? So, um, now coming back to more of the s- serious uh, questions. Uh, you know, following this ruling, do you see any potential ripple effects uh, from this ruling, um, and perhaps maybe what this could mean for uh, Sharia uh, criminal enactments, Sharia cr- criminal enactments in other states? Do you think it, it might possibly threaten? No. Okay. Uh, yeah. The, the the courts <coughs> have already decided that these impotent substance are unconstitutional. So each state should check their enactments and see whether it is unconstitutional mm. mm-hmm. so we don't have to we don't have to tell them anything i think they'll be more careful after this so this isn't your place to no mm. right uh, w- what we it's hope is that you know lawmakers after this will be more careful in drafting mm. laws right but it's we're not uh, lawmakers you see mm-hmm. so it's not our job to to mm-hmm to do this but it is your job to voice out voice out if there is Mm -hmm. overlapping issues because we are lawyers right so when you talk about lawmakers and um, them having to make proper considerations before they you know put the law uh, table the law and then enact them uh, how long does it take from say tabling it to then seeing you know how much time are we supposed to I'm I'm not sure, but actually the tabling, uh, to me, okay, like for federal laws, it it's not the parliamentary the MPs actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe that the drafting of the laws yeah. are done by the AGC, so right, okay. it's not really the, you know, they are just they bring the they bill. yeah they bring the bill and then they discuss it. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. the drafting is basically done by the AGC. Mm-hmm. So, but in the state. I guess they they went on a frolic of their own, <laughs> right? Mm. Yeah, right. But we can see this um, this process being hastened, right? I mean, we, can we expect to see base because of what you've managed to do? Uh, do you think that this will improve things? Yeah, speed yeah. Up inshallah. Things? inshallah, it definitely mm-hmm. should mm-hmm. improve mm-hmm. a lot of things. There will be more uniformity. Uh, there will be. I we hope that there will be uniformity. Uh, everything will be about equity, you know, and justice. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So harmonizing har- harmonizing the legal systems. Yeah. Right. Right now we don't have uniform laws. Each state has got different different, different sets of laws, you know. Um so if we can just ha- like for instance um the sharia courts sharia courts are a good but have a uniform mm-hmm. code mm-hmm. for each uh, right. for for the whole of Malaysia. Okay. Something on your legal background. So the both of you uh are Sharia trained, right? Yes. You have Sharia training. Yes. So me from UIAM, UATM. UATM. Right. Yeah. You don't practice Sharia law. Uh, uh-huh. No, I don't. Okay. I don't, but we do uh-huh. help um we do help those who are we do help guide Sh- women. Right. Mm. With Sharia so problems. You know, with Sharia Maybe problems. perhaps could could it be that um a lot of the criticism leveled against, you know, against the both of you is that uh, your you know you're trying to you're seen as trying to attack the sharia system the sharia laws but you're not even practicing it could could this be you know the reason why we're seeing this this mm, i don't we're not attacking the sharia system mm-hmm. 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 okay if somebody were to be charged under the 16 provisions mm-hmm. that was mm-hmm. declared unconstitutional they could have gone they could have been charged and they could have challenged bro- challenged it like we've sort of saved time for them yeah <laughs> we've right. done it right. one clean cle- yeah. clean sweep more rather you know right mm. right so we're okay. not challenging they are giving taking um, one who is challenging is challenging actually the, uh, are the actually the state, state legal legislative the assembly, assembly. Mm-hmm. we're mm. not challenging the sharia right mm. so they have went over and beyond put it put this uh upper uh, sharia provisions and kata oh this is under sharia but it's not mm. it's not that okay. they just put an arabic name and call mm. it sharia <laughs> well so again, mm. this, this is this is something a concern that any p- member of the public really can mm. address right yeah. yes uh, it's even in the decision <coughs> that <coughs> what we're doing now i mean with with the federal laws are actually takzir laws actually so mm. just give a name of an uh, it is actually takzi takzi is what the government um the let's, pen- let's read what um Tung- the Tunku sure. Tun Maimun said mm-hmm. on takzi okay this is and i quote uh, paragraph 7 of the uh, um ringkasan pahakiman uh starting quote it's mahkamah syariah di malaysia setakat hari ini tidak melaksanakan hukum hudud atau kisas hanya taksir. Mahkamah Sivil juga melaksanakan hukum man taksir. Hmm. Sebegitu tidak ada bezanya Mahkamah Syariah dan Mahkamah Sivil kerana kedua-dua sistem syariah dan sivil melaksanakan hukuman taksir. taksir. Yes. Perbezaannya cuma hukuman taksir yang dilaksanakan oleh Mahkamah Syariah adalah bersumberkan atau mengikut undang-undang yang ditetapkan oleh pemerintah di peringkat negeri dan diluluskan oleh Badan Perundangan perundangan negeri manakala hukuman taksir yang dilaksanakan oleh mahkamah sivil adalah mengikut undang-undang yang ditetapkan oleh pemerintah di peringkat persekutuan yang diluluskan oleh parlimen okay. so it's pemerintah of the day yeah mm. so we all we are all under taksir and oh yeah the very important thing that we need to say is that the enactment kanun Can- jenayah syariah is in bracket taksir Mm-hmm. It's takzir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not uh, hudud, hudud it's not or kisas. kisas right. you know, or it's takzir. So takzir is human the pemerintah of the day. Mm-hmm. So human we're made. also uh, human made by the pemerintah. Not pemerinta. all law. Yeah. We're not challenging the doctrine of mm. Islam. Okay. We have to put it out there. Nothing and to do. And there's nothing in the in nothing in the Quran that says that you know, uh, kalau uh, apakah. Um, Kalau what are the punishments for this and that? Tak ada yang dalam takzir itu tak ada. Now before we wrap up, um, it's, this has been a great, insightful interview to get to know both of you more and also to get to know the grounds for your the challenge that you made and has been successful. So before we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to add? I just hope people would understand mm-hmm. what we are actually challenging and not listen to. Uh, manipulation of facts, you know, very. I I just want them to understand right. that what we're doing is 
for the sake of a better Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Mm. We are not challenging the Mahkamah Syariah. Mahkamah yes. Syariah hari Selasa yes. ni buka balik. Yeah, buka balik on Selasa. Still berjalan. Cases <laughs> still jalan. So, and tak tidak terancam. Yeah. Islam also tidak terancam. Hmm, tak ada berkubur lah. Mahkamah ada Syariah tak ada berkubur, tidak berkubur pun. pun. Hmm. Well, I think that ends it then on a really good note. Thank Sa- you uh, so again, much. thank you so much. Thank you, thank so, you so much for having yeah. us. Yasmin, thank you for coming on again. Mm. An exclusive with <laughs> NSD's Beyond the Headlines. So, to those of you who've been watching this episode, uh, thank you for staying with us and, and watching this episode. If you liked and enjoyed watching this, please hit that like button and, don't and forget subscribe. to subscribe. <laughs> Correct, yes. Yeah, subscribe to our YouTube channel, NSD Online. As well as uh, follow us on our social media um, accounts, pages. Uh, we have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter or X. So until the next episode, that's it. That's it from me. That's all for today. Thank you. See Thank you, you so time. much. Goodbye. Thank you.